very accurately quite small things. Um, you can read in three different ways with it. You can measure outside something, like that, and then you read the scale. You can measure between things, like that. Or you can measure the depth of a hole. You push it down until it hits the bottom, and slide the body down. Either way, you'll see the three reading parts, they all move together. So it's only one scale to read. And that's the tricky bit. And it's very small and very fine. Um, OK, you've got a scale here, which is marked in centimetres, which is divided up into individual millimetres. And you've got another scale here. And you'll see that the numbers on this scale they actually don't really line up. See, four is not lined up with anything opposite. The zero is. The ten is. They sort of go out of phase and back in again. Um, if you put it in a certain position, let's say you know, there, when the zero is lined up with the one, that's one centimetre, ten millimetres, exactly. Just like there, the zero is lined up with zero, it's nothing, zero millimetres. If you go to there, see, now the zero is halfway between the naught and the one. We could guess that that is half a millimetre. But you can actually look, when the five, because we want half a millimetre, when the five line is lined up with something, that's half a millimetre. See how the two line isn't? So we can move along. That's naught millimetres. And the one is in line with the one, which almost is, and now it is, that's 0.1 millimetre. Move it along a bit more, so the two is lined up. Whoops. It's now open by 0.2 millimetres. So the seven's still a way away. Let's line the seven up, with the next line along to the right. Oops, try and get it there, it's very fine. And that, that gap, is 0.7 millimetres. And the ten's lined up with the next line. The zero is two. You're actually on one millimetre now. So, let's say to measure this on the outside, measure it between the two corners. Let's see what it says. First of all, you look at the zero and you look at the number to the left of it. This one is 60 millimetres, so it's 60 millimetres and a bit. Now you look along to find which of these lines is lined up with one of these. You see here it's a bit to the right, and that one is lined up. So it's 3.5, or actually 0.35, so it's 60.35 millimetres. That's measuring there. Measure inside a gap. Let's do these two here. Again, look for the zero. That says 44 millimetres. The zero is a little bit to the right of that number there. So we'll look through and we'll see actually that one there is just a bad one. So that's 44.15 millimetres. We'll do the hole again. Do a shallow one this time. Okay, again, zero. The zero is at three. If you look, you'll find it's actually a little bit to the left of three. So it's a little bit less than three. You look over here and you'll find that the nine is in line. So that's actually 2.9 millimetres. That's how you measure with a vernier canopy. <laughs>